Beer can be brewed with as simple a setup as a pot and a burner. The first ingredient you need is water and plenty of it. After water comes barley, which is added like a tea bag. The water and barley are heated and dry malt extract is added. Yeah. That's given a good stir and then it's time to wait for the pot to reach a boil. The beer being brewed here is an IPA. When it reaches a boil, hops are added. All right, where are the hops? In this case, pellet hops. So they are easier to work with, more compact, last longer, and that's making it foam up again, which is not surprising. Once all these ingredients are added, everyone waits as things brew. 60 minutes and the sun set later, the batch has become unfermented beer or wort. The wort is chilled by running cold water through a copper tube that has been placed in the pot with the wort. The wort is then transferred to a fermentation carboy. Professor Lentz added the yeast later after the brew cooled even more. The wort will ferment and become beer. Brewing beer might sound like something that requires a lot of specialized equipment, but Professor Lentz demonstrated nothing fancy is needed. There's a lot of options in terms of how sophisticated you want to get with the process. You can make good beer with a pot in the stove uh, and really not much more than that or you can really get these elaborate uh, dedicated homebrew setups and, and, and everything in between. So there's, there's something kind of for everybody. This has been Emily Bailey with UNF Spinnaker News.